Bob, we are talking about black swan funds, so ones that in theory should perform well the more that the markets are volatile. In theory, exactly right. They're named uh, after the, the book by uh, Nassim Tal Tlaib. Yep. Uh, which was an interesting name, by the way. You know, black swans, it's for unexpected events, and black swans were completely unexpected because people thought only swans were only white until 1694, I think it was. They discovered black swans in Australia. These are also called tail risk funds or fat tail funds uh, after the two ends of the bell curve on the bell curve graph, which are, of course, again, events which are extremely unlikely and unexpected. And the fund that Taleb was advising or suggesting, <clears throat> pointing to, did pretty well during the crash. Oh, they did, they, they did uh, really super well. See, he had a really interesting point, which was a, originally kind of a pure math point, which was that the pricing models, the statistical models that Wall Street was using to, devel to develop prices ignored those tails on the bell curve. So if it was unexpected or rare, they just ignored them altogether. And he said, wait a minute, that's not right. They will happen. They'll just happen very rarely. And so, you know, the options on those events are going to be very cheap. So I'm going to buy these super cheap options. And every once in a while, they'll really pay off big. And that's exactly what happened. So how exactly are these funds structured? How do they work? So there are kind of three major flavors. One are equity type funds. And so those managers will buy puts uh, on the S&P. So the S&P falls, the, the value of the put goes up. Uh, there are credit funds, like Boaz Weinstein has a very famous one, that uh, play the CDX market. So they'll buy credit default swaps, protection, if you will, against either corporate or sovereign defaults. And those go up in times of crisis, uh, typically. And then, of course, you can play the VIX. People play the VIX through kinds of futures, usually future strategies on the VIX. Of course, you can mix all three if you want. All right, now, Nassim, Tala, Boaz, Weinstein, I mean, these are serious high flyers. What about for average investors? Is there any way for your average mom and dad to participate? Uh, there is. Uh, uh, what's interesting, you know, there's been a whole rush of new hedge funds coming out, but there are even ETFs now. There are essentially black swan ETFs, which is kind of a surprising thing when you step back and think about it. Uh, you know, however, I do want to throw in a caution for, especially for individual investors, which is this. All of the strategies we, we talked about are essentially options type strategies. And the value of options decay over time, by definition, eh? The time premium goes away on your options. So they can be kind of expensive things to invest in. And if the world doesn't do you a favor and fails to implode, uh, you're going to wind up frequently with losses on an annual basis. Even in some of the more famous funds, they're losing three, four, five percent a year. But the idea is sure, but that's my insurance policy. And when the world goes to heck, I'm, I'm going to make a big profit. Now, what is there a poor man's version of this out there? Yeah, I, I, I like to say the poor man's black swan fund is cash. Okay. A radical well, investment simple. concept, I know. Uh, but the idea is you're not losing money uh, over time. And instead of trying to actually make a fortune when things uh, you know, fall apart, you can be sitting there with plenty of cash to buy things after they've collapsed and play kind of the positive side of the crisis instead of the negative side of the crisis. What it's, if you're somebody who thinks that the Fed is devaluing so much that even cash is going to be worth nothing? Well, that's <laughs> really theoretical, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it, and it's a fair point. But as a poor man's fund, <laughs> yeah. cash does pretty well or tips or other sort of things that keep you super liquid because, you know, as Rothschild said, the time to buy is when blood is running in the streets. But you need cash to buy when blood is running in the streets.